Hello and welcome to this video. It was taken after I'd been to the 2017 Ardbroth Fish Festival. It's the former ancient fishing village of Ochmethy. And here we are up on the cliffs looking down where I'm going to go. You can see the caves way over to the right there. There's an, a north and a south side. I'm going to do the south side of that beach first. I should mention the wind and the noise of my feet on the pebbles. You might hear it and you might not. <laughs> but I can't avoid either. One's the weather and one's my weight on the pebbles. This is the old harbour. It is still in use. You'll see when we get down there. Not a sandy beach like there is in Arbroath. This is the other end where we saw the cliffs in the Arbroath video. This is round the corner. It's about a half hour walk to get here. Bit exposed because this is the North Sea, remember. It isn't uh, a fishing pond. And you can see the cliffs there, they're, they're quite friable uh, and, and break up easily. So they're susceptible to a lot of erosion as you can see over to the left there where they've all fallen down, big chunks of it. And the area to the left of this cave, if you have a look at the crack going up there, it's very dangerous. <laughs> so you need to be wearing all the right gear. Oh dear, outside, never mind. <laughs> and thanks to Windsor Davis, the late Windsor Davis for his comment. And I'm going through, I've got my safety gear on. I've got my camera in one hand and my hand over my head to stop any rocks hitting me. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like a child. You can't keep me away from caves and things and like that. I'm aware that rocks can fall. Um, and if they fall, well, what can I say? If one of these that you're going to see in a second going back the way out there hits you on the head, you're just going to be sort of very, very dead. You won't know much about it. <laughs> now we're heading off towards the harbour now. It's well damaged as the harbour by the North Sea, as you'll see when we get to it. It's ripped it apart in places. The tide is on the way in. I did check my tide tables because I'm going the other way and you wouldn't want to get stuck around there. Again it's high cliffs and they're very friable and without ropes and crampons you're not going to be climbing them. Here we are, this is the southernmost wall of what was the old harbour. And we're going to walk along it and you can see it's it's still there but it's well damaged with big chunks pushed off to the left there. North Sea on the right, chunks on the left. Tells you all you need to know about the force of the, the, force of the North Sea. And round that corner there is where we've been our broth and the Seton Cliffs and there's the, the what is the inner harbour you can tell it's used even by the small boats now and again but only when the tide's in probably to offload any fishing catches it used to be used for uh, smuggling and there, that's a rock pool. You can see a lot of dead fish in there where they've been trapped. Lack, lack of oxygen in the water, I suppose. But there's quite a few still alive. It makes you wonder why some die and some don't. But they'll be like that until we get the tide back in. And then I saw in the sand in front of me when I jumped down off the wall footprints can you see look going towards the water they can tell they're not mine i'm walking with a camera in my hand and there's no more just vanish at the water's edge there's none coming back the way i thought that's weird 
and there's you can see there's ladders and away down on the distance there there's one in the wall where the top of the wall has been knocked off these are the two at this end and there's even a, a a pedestal up above there for hoisting fish up but the one I want to go and see is over there where all that rock's been knocked off the top of the wall the, the concrete you can just about see it now on the wall I'm just looking back towards where we've been and as you can see the tide's on its way in and there's my ladder the bottom three rungs are missing and I'm a bit of an old guy but I'm also a bit of an idiot so just bear with me because I've got my camera in one hand and I'm going to go up this darned ladder with the other and my two feet <laughs> there you are, I'm up looking down I had to cut that bit out because I tossed my camera up on the wall and it went down the other side <laughs> that's me Old guy, thumbs up, yay. Yes, with a screw loose, yes, obviously. And that's looking back to the cliffs and then off out to the North Sea. And then we're going along the wall a bit more. And then I've got to climb up and turn left to walk along the rest of the wall. There we go. And now I'm on the wall. Now you can see that it's obviously still used. There's a, f a hoist for getting creels up. And that's me looking back again to the harbour mouth. And there's the cliffs and the hole in it where we went through. Now there's about a six foot drop. Maybe seven or eight, but it's definitely over two metre at the end of this wall. But it's all small pebbles. So, guess who's going to do a running jump, complete with a camera in his hand? Go on, guess, guess, go on, guess. <laughs> yeah, the silly old guy with a screw loose. I've got my cell phone with me, so if I break a leg, I can phone the ambulance. Here we go. Go on. Jump. <laughs> there you go and I'm still moving forward <laughs> and you can see the damage the tide's done here the, the North Sea it's a bit unforgiving and there's an old boat in front of me here and there's actually a notice in the boat and this is almost the end of the south part of the beach and look what it says Please don't break up this boat up for firewood or use it for anything else because it's a cherished item. And the only thing I can see that's worth anything is that capstan. Now we're over on the north side of the harbour. There's the wall. And then this bit I speeded up in editing because it's all pebbly. And there's a stream a wee river coming from nowhere it's just there I don't know why I can't see where it come from a bit of floatsome and jetsome one or the other looks like old uh, fishing line nets attached to it and I asked somebody local is that an old Celtic sign and he said nah it's an old Achmethy sign son so there you go <laughs> and I'm making to those cliffs away in the distance I'm putting my camera down for a minute just to adjust my backpack Whoop. and those look to be animal footprints embedded in rock that's the rock that used to stand here before it all got washed away interesting good archaeology and there's the cliffs again with that's not a cave I know from last year I tried to go through it there isn't anything but very interesting rock formations and stonework because it keeps falling down in big chunks 
and you'll see this in a minute, where the, the bit on there to the right fell down from the left, and it's a big bit. But as you can see here, there's always bits falling down. Not uncommon. That's a jellyfish. Met its end. Got stranded as the tide went out. Now, that big rock in front of us, I shall point my finger at it. There, when you have a look from the other side, it just fits up there. And the way that other bit split, it's going to be come down soon too. Here we go. This is from the other side of the rock. And you can see the pattern where the shale is and so on that looks like concrete where different uh, beaches have been laid down over millenniums but it does it's the exact same shape that would fit up there and here we are at some of the rock pools that's a deep one it's about 15 to 20 foot but it's just a big split in the rock with the tides coming into it There's plenty of rock pools and I intend to put the waterproof case on the camera and go rock pulling because I'm like a big child, <laughs> can't stay away from them and I have fallen in a few, <laughs> more than a few. That's a big one, that's the North Sea rock pool. <laughs> And across there, there's a hole in a big rock, and it's like a, an elephant's trunk. If you've got a vivid imagination like me, there's me in my shadow. I'm hand holding the small action camera, as you can see. But I will put it on the pole soon, and we shall be going dipping in the ponds. Every time I see my shadow, I feel it singing me and my shadow. You know, you probably don't know, not if you're under 80. <laughs> it's rugged, but it's so attractive. Even with the wind and all the rest of it, it's still an attractive place to be. Remember the name, Och Mithi. And there's a silly old geezer. He's got his camera on the pond, on the pole, sorry. And it's in its waterproof case, as you can tell with some of the reflections you're getting on it. Now he's going to get an advert, just like on telly. There's his water. He's not advertising any special water. It's just a new bottle of water that he brought with him. Because this old fool knows what dehydration can do. So he doesn't dehydrate too often. <laughs> I think I actually say, oh, that was good. I think some of these underwater shots are very good. They're the normal speed, 30 frames per second as well. But I've found out if you move too fast, it's actually quite a funny effect. It's not just smudging like you do get on the surface, like very fast motion. It's worse than that. So you do have to go a lot slower and use a sharpness filter and also a non-judder filter 
which I do with Video Studio. I use um, Mercalli version 2 for the juddering and so on. It does make a visible difference and in 4K you don't lose any of your the sides, your borders stay there almost. And I've done a comparison, as long as you're in 2.7 or 4K then you can get away with it. Ooh, that's misty. We're very near where the tide's coming in and out, so got disturbed sand probably. You'll see in some of them little fish, and in one of them further on, there's a crab. It doesn't even try to attack the camera. I think it was wondering what the heck it was. <laughs> This is lovely, it's like going scuba diving. And you'll be coming up to the bit where the crab is soon. There it is, on your left, quite a big one. I didn't stay down there with it because it just disturbs the wildlife and I'm not really into that. I like that effect where you're half in, half out the water. And that's us coming to the end. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe and you'll know when my next video appears. Or leave a comment or rate it. And thank you for watching. The end.